What's up guys, today is Friday. Finally, Friday, the very best day of the week because today is Snap-on Friday. Hamilton's in here, so let's go take a look and see what he's got. We're gonna have to get this box sold. I got one that's looking at it right now. He's uh, seen me pretty interested in it. He hated the color at first, now he's, he's like me, and done grown on him. I like the color. I figured it would have sold fast. Golly, that's like Home Depot clearance aisle in here. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, all the stuff, or everything about this tote right here was in that other box before I sold it. Holy smokes. Man. But we got a bunch of shirts and uh, got some like the Yeti cuts but the snap ones made by Bison uh, a bunch of small stuff like that people buy for Christmas presents this week too yeah everybody well, wants was, a cheap uh, gift for somebody guy sent me an email he was interested in the plug phones so show them things we got three different ones uh, place another order today before they uh, close now for, uh, for Christmas they corded got the plug phones uh, this has them. I mean, yeah, corded. This is with the microphone. That way you can talk. Here's the corded without the microphone. Uh, but the best selling one out of all has been the Bluetooth ones. Yeah, I love them <clears throat> right there. They are very nice. I'll use these. Uh, well, anytime I'm riding up down the road, if I get a phone call, I just won't answer it and I call them right back after I put my headphones in. Because, I mean, you can hear so much better with this truck being as loud as it is running up down the road. And the batteries. Last I haven't month. even charged mine up yet. <laughs> I've charged mine one time, but I've had it probably a month or over a yeah. month. And uh, yeah, I haven't even charged mine up. I think the other day it said that battery level was medium on it. <laughs> they last yeah. a long time. I was like, yeah, Lee. Yeah, those are. Of course, I'm not using it all day every day, but those are awesome. He actually sent me that email this morning, so he was lucky today was Friday. Yeah, I will remember that one pretty easily. Then. <laughs> That's right. You got all kind of stuff back here. Yeah, that's some trade-ins right there that we had. We had a uh, Matco, a new 16-volt 3.8 Matco gun. Uh -huh. uh, somebody bought one of them. When, uh, I think about three months old. He traded it in uh, Wednesday. I sold it this morning up at Lambert's. The guys when he's out in the junkyard, he's like, well, if I drop it off in the mud hole or something, there ain't no big loss right there. Uh, but the, he said, the guy who traded in just didn't have the power. 14.4 snap-on did so we traded in on another 14.4 to have a spare one of them right i know we tested it i wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> impressed with it at all yeah so <clears throat> i saw the brand new gun for i mean three months old for 70 bucks to somebody so guy didn't want to pay that much That's for it but cheap yeah <laughs> it's cheap gun two batteries and charging a bag or case or whatever it had with it mm-mm-mm well, Bill is gone to pick up a truck, so he's gonna miss today. So we're gonna have to wait till next Friday Let's to see, if he see got the pink, pink socks. socks. On then. So. Yeah, I was gonna bring uh, Bill a participation trophy. I saw you heard a bunch of people's feelings on here. Uh, had a deal going on about carrying the jack and the handle, mm -hmm. and Bill clearly said he forgot the handle. He obviously lost the bet. But since we heard a lot of people's feelings over, we're gonna give him a, a participation trophy. We have that next week with us. Yeah, he needs a participation trophy. Everybody <laughs> got to have one of them nowadays. They don't get their feelings hurt. Kind of like kindergarten, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody gets a trophy. <laughs> yeah, no matter what. Win or lose, everybody gets one. That's it. Well, what all you got different today? Uh, I got some Volkswagen stuff over there. I had to special order a bunch of that stuff in. I know y'all don't work on no Volkswagens. Mm -hmm. Thank all goodness. these are Volkswagens. Thank goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. And my wife drives one. I ain't mm, working on that job, though. We do got that for you. All right. We have Christmas present. Colored ratchets and that meter. Yeah, I ain't got the meter yet. Christmas present. Yeah. 
and I, I know I ain't got no color dressing. I'm going to double check and see real quick. Oh, Lisa, I know what you're waiting on over here. Well, did you get mine then? Did yeah. mine, mine come in? <laughs> he got it. Every time we close the drawer, he's going to stand up. What do you think about it, Lisa? Huh? Make him speak. Speak. There you go. <laughs> he gets in trouble. He barks too loud, so he has to find that happy medium in there. Mm -mm -mm. So your deliveries ain't coming, in, huh? No, the new freight company's messing me over. With, so after the first, I'm gonna swap back over to UPS and uh, get that fixed. Well, some nice looking front bars out there. Yeah, they might pry bars. Oh, oh. They <laughs> pry bars. What are those? <laughs> That's what most people call them right That's there, what though. They are. Do you have any of those straight ones on here? Let me check and see. <laughs> I thought that's what all of them was. Yeah. I thought she got three Phillips and a couple of pry bars. There's a big one that's straight. For most of them. Yeah. Man, the little one. I was going to check and see. But see how wide them are? Mm hmm. And then with the small ones, they're still wider at the bottom. And then, I ain't same length all the way down. Yeah, I thought that's what the screwdriver sets was. You get <laughs> yeah. two or three fillets. Two or three pry bars with your screwdriver. I don't have one right now. You got a bunch of knives. Which one of them's the best one? I like the Columbia River ones myself just because of the warranty purpose on them. It's like a socket. I would enjoy and get another one, you know? Yeah. Kershaw's changed their warranty up a lot. Uh, you got to send it to Kershaw and let them fix it. Um, they got what you call a limited lifetime warranty or one-time lifetime warranty. They sharpen it as many times as you want to pay to send it out there and pay for it to come back. Right. Uh, but as far as like if once they've replaced the blade on it, they're done with it. They won't do nothing else with it. And that's that includes sense. sharpening it. So, uh, like Kershaw's, which most people use these for power bars and screwdrivers and stuff too, but you break the tip off of it. Like I said, they can sharpen it and shorten the blade, but once mm -hmm. they swap it out, then that's it, huh? Yep, they ain't got no more warranty on it no more. And the Columbia River, they just keep on trucking, huh? Columbia River says, hey, we ain't gonna do like that. You buy one from us, and some happen to it, we throw it in the drawer. Of course, I mean, they don't like seeing the tips broke off of them, right. but I mean, lifetime warranty on them. Yeah, nice. Most guys is pretty good about not using them for screwdrivers and stuff. Yeah. You have you some that want to do it. And <laughs> you always got the one. Yeah, you always got the one couple guy. couple of bad ones yeah. going to screw it up for everybody. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure sometime or another they probably swapped their warranty around too, but right now they're hanging in there. They said they're not planning on it anytime soon, so they we'll see what they that. do. There. Got the epic toolbox right here with the stainless steel top. Right. Black with stainless trim. Uh, I'm sure a bunch of folks have epic toolboxes. I uh, will show you some of the difference differences between the epic and the master series. Uh, one thing on the epic well, and the icons now, they're all the tops are beveled in. But the masters and the classics are flat all across. Uh, also, on the drawers, the drawer slides on the epics are like heavy duty. I don't think it's twice the amount of weight, but it is more weight than what the masters and the classics or the icons have. Uh, biggest part about it, the difference is, is when the master series was top of the line box for 25, 27 years. Uh, when Snap went to the tech said, hey, what can we do different to make our box better than what they already are? The number one complaint was how all the drawers set out like this. And get dust and on And get dust on Yep. So they decided to fix that. They're all set to flush like with the classics. Uh, and then the 
but for them to sit flush like that, they want to change the handle on them too. Because there's another big thing on the, with the masters is they got the plastic piece of yep. one into the other. It's lifetime warranty, but every one of them is a little bit short on the ends. Yep. So if you're standing well over here and you need something right here, you can't get your door open. Uh, with these, they got uh, the levers on both sides. They're metal coated in plastic. And on the inside where they lock is just metal. But these are metal coated in plastic. I mean, you see they don't. And it's not going to break. If it does, they're lifetime warranty anyway, but you got to be working hard to break one of these. Right. It's the same on both sides. It's double lock. And you can pull right here and it puts the same amount of pressure on this side as it does this side. Cool and you can just hear the sound where they close. They're just different. Mm -hmm. it sounds a lot more solid. Like some size the uh, the thickness of the the gauge on the metal, the heavier door slides, and obviously like the trim and the top differences, like I already said, uh, and that is about the difference on them. I believe the casters on the masters is a little bit bigger. I believe I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that they are. Um, is that the same height as the Master Series, or is this one taller? Um, well, some of them are this high, but most of them are a little bit shorter. And all your Epics is going to be the full 30 deep. Right. With the Masters, is like 28. You get some Masters, is 24. Your Icons and your Classics is only going to be 24. Uh, so with your Epic boxes, you are getting a full depth, full 30 inches. Uh, so that's one thing different. I mean, they don't have an option of having a, a thinner one, yeah. not as deep. For the masters, some models are thinner, some are the thick ones. Oh, very nice box. Yeah. Um, I ain't had the epic on the box by me on the truck. I think this is the first one that we had since a while. Uh, I bet it won't stay on there long. Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> We've been moving a bunch of them, so we're gonna try to see what we got. Well, it's a nice box. Very nice box. So one last thing I forgot to say a while ago, uh, with the Master Series and Classics and all of them, on the casters, uh, one side straight, the other side swivel. With the Epic Series, like say if you got a hole, this box is 60 inches, and you got a spot that's on 61 inches, with your Masters and your Classics, you don't have to have a forklift or something else. With these, any wheel can caster. They got locks on them. You just pull the lock, pull it and twist it. And then it's able to cast So all four will All will cast Wow, that's nice. You, you can push it straight back. Yeah. And uh, just reach back up under here, grab the lock, twist it back, hmm. and turn it and it lock back straight. That's awesome right there. Yep. That was smart. Yeah. That really was. That's another uh, luxury to the Epic Series box. All right, guys, let me cut this thing off, and uh, we'll show you what we got. Y'all hang in there. All right, guys, y'all seen Hamilton had a lot of stuff on his truck today, and everything was kind of in a little disarray because of his toolbox selling, so it's been a good week for him. Um, I picked up the last and final piece of all my Christmas shopping that I had to do today. It's a quick release 3H drive snap on ratchet. The part number for it is a FR80, FR80. So I'm done. Do a Christmas shopping. Yay. Feels good to be honest with you. Thank, thankfully, like this is the first year that I hadn't had to go rush around on a Saturday or Sunday right before Christmas and been all the big crappy crowds and all that stuff. So it's really nice to be done with Christmas. Anyway, guys, thank y'all very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's totally free. It don't cost you a dime, and that way you will always get the latest, greatest, and the best video that we have to offer. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope y'all have a great Christmas and a happy new year. Y'all take care, and we'll catch y'all next time.